So this is my first. <clears throat> this is my first time at a council meeting. Uh, I just recently started to decide that I'd like to get involved a little bit, pay attention to things, because I'm at the point in my life where I think I might want to make a home here, start a family, all that good stuff. And um, I also recently saw Jen Giatino's email about getting involved with municipal boards, and I thought that was a great idea. So I started to watch these council meetings on the computer, pay attention a little bit here and there. And uh, the first thing I'd like to do standing up here is applaud you uh, on the council because at, I believe, the last meeting, um, someone came up with a wonderful idea, and I thought uh, it was great. It was a local ethics board. And I thought that would be a wonderful idea for, uh, to keep everybody honest and uh, just keep track of everything. So since we had some extra time since that last meeting, I had some extra time, and I decided to take it upon myself to help everybody get started with that ethics board. So I have here for the city clerk uh, the first complaints for the ethics board that I'd like to submit to you. Here you go. And now since obviously nobody knows what's in there, and I do have 348 left. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's fine. That's for you. Um, and I do have oh, now 342 left. Um, I'll just tell everybody what's on uh, those complaints there. The first one is against Councilman Mike Del Fusco uh, for accepting over $93,000 uh, in contributions from political action committees outside of Hoboken, potentially in violation of the city's anti-wheeling ordinance. What I also find particularly interesting uh, is that for a self-proclaimed -pro self progressive Democrat, Mr. Del Fusco has accepted thousands of dollars from National Republican Congressional Committee. Uh, <clears throat> now, when Mike DeFusco actually shows up to these things, I know he likes to talk about hypocrisy and things because, like I said, I have been watching. And I would like to think that this is a shining example of hypocrisy and the very definition of the word. Speaking of that word, I think it will be coming up again, so let's pay attention. While we're on this topic, though, I would be remiss if I didn't mention our councilwoman, Tiffany Fisher, was the first person to bring this up during the mayoral election. Um, she brought these violations to light in a complaint that she filed, but she mysteriously didn't follow up on those during the election. Tiffany, I would like to say you did a great job identifying the problem, did a poor job following up on it, and to make matters even worse, less than two months after filing your complaint alleging that, that Mr. DeFusco violated city campaign finance law, you then voted for him to serve on the planning board. Uh, nice deal making, uh, kind of at the expense of Hoboken, but I guess we'll let that one go. For my second complaint, <clears throat> it goes to our esteemed council president, who may have also violated our city's anti-wheeling ordinance, when he accepted over $8,000 from a political action committee from outside of Hoboken. Amazingly, we have another self-proclaimed progressive Democrat here who is being hypocritical. I'm sorry, what? Said, great, thank you. Uh, okay. Ruben accepted over $8,000 from the National Republican Congressional Committee, making our council president a hypocrite, which we're going back to that word, and he earned himself a place on my list of ethics complaints. For my third and final complaint, for tonight anyway, uh, it goes to Councilwoman Jen Giatino, the good government watchdog, also known to some as fourth place Jen. Jen, you are a landlord who rents to tenants and you are a real estate agent that profits by renting out apartments for other landlords, which means your income is directly affected by rental prices. Despite these obvious conflicts of interest, in my opinion, you have not recused yourself from votes regarding the city's rent control ordinance. The version of the proposed amendment championed by the mayor, which would have provided huge relief to tenants, was sidelined by you at one of the meetings. That ordinance would have stopped landlords from imposing hefty tax surcharges on tenants, even in the middle of lease terms. To protect landlords, of which you are one, and of which many are your clients and presumably your friends, you stop this ordinance. And for that reason, you also made my list, and I think that would be a fine thing for the newly created ethics board to discuss. I will leave it with that. I have 40 seconds left. I'll let them go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Council, yeah, I'll, uh...